Okay, another classic wild mushroom recipe for you today. Wild mushrooms with garlic and parsley, also known as wild mushrooms with persiad, which is basically just finely chopped garlic and parsley. I start off with one clove of garlic, and I'm going to crush it, whack it with the back of a knife or a cleaver. I'll add a little pinch of salt that kind of acts as an abrasive, and just give it a good chop. doesn't have to be perfect. Then we're going to take some parsley, and you want flat leaf Italian parsley here. Curly parsley should never be used by anyone, really. Uh, it's just, it's not good. Chop your parsley up, and then really chop the garlic and parsley together really fine. You want to make sure your parsley is very dry when you do this, because if you try to use wet parsley, you're going to make mulch. It's going to be juicy. It's just not good. Uh, and it'll get it'll go bad faster too. You want a really nice finely chopped mixture. Next we just get some mushrooms. So I'm going to show you how to do the uh, wet saute with some hedgehog mushrooms here. Uh, we could start it off the pan with oil instead of the water that I have but they might soak up a ton of oil and this is a really nice technique for chanterelles or other small mushrooms. Let us put the mushrooms in the pan with a film of water and then I'm going to put a lid on them or another cast iron skillet as you can see here it's just gonna help them steam trap some heat and it'll go pretty quick and then once they cook down I add when the water's gone I add a little bit of oil and salt and then we're just gonna cook them until they're nice and golden brown and starting to get some color on them it should look a little bit like that just like that golden brown and then all we do is add a good fat tablespoon of the Persiad, give it a good stir, double check the seasoning, add another pinch of salt if you need, and this is going to be great, I mean, perched on a steak. You can see the pan, the heat is turned off on the pan here, because I don't want to burn the parsley or dry it out too much. But these are going to be great on a steak, you know, added to a soup as a garnish, there's really no wrong way to eat them. Eat them on toast. It's fantastic. You can use all kinds of mushrooms. One of my favorite things to do is use it on vegetarian entrees for the mushroom component. So this little butternut squash steak. You can see more stuff like this on my website. Thanks for watching.